How long have you been playing this now? I've been playing it a few hours on, uh, about two hours on and off, but I've just been flapping around and oh. sort of pausing to watch friends and shit. But you know what day <laughs> well, it is? I've probably done about an hour's worth of actual gameplay. <laughs> you know what day it is, folks? Let's play Saturday. Yeah, we moved it from Thursday. So this is Resi on the Dreamcast. And now this today for actually, you, we have... Actually, What we've got is... today. Not Resident Evil, it's actually Biohazard. Oh, wow. Well, it's actually the two. Japanese version of Resident Evil 2 on the Dreamcast. Nice mix. Yeah. Um, so here we've got the Japanese Dreamcast running through a... Um, power adapter. Power voltage adapter, yeah. Yeah. So we're actually playing this and... Oh my god, the PlayStation 4's not here. No. What's happened? It's gone retro. We've gone retro. No, no, it's fine. The PlayStation 4 is in... It's dead. You'll no. be dead in a minute. No. Suggest that. no, the PlayStation 4 is just moved. Right. It's, yeah. in, it's in my new digs. So what have we got today then? Well, we've got a mixture here, actually. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa, there you whoa, are. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you whoa, doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. So we'll start off with Nintendo old school stuff. Oh, oh, we've got the oh ow, we've got hands. ow, 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 ow. And we've got He's a lot of... crippled again. <laughs> crippled again. I damaged my knee. So the first one we got is actually... A fam this is Load Runner on the Famicom Disk System. Oh, wow, we look at that. Well, we tried it, and we found out that the Famicom Disk System doesn't work. We think there's a problem with the belt. So, our, our yeah. RG here, if I can get my hand in it, ah, is... <laughs> here we are, <laughs> crippled. I can't even open it. So, this is what... This is... It doesn't come with the manual, but it does just come with the outer sleeve. And it's actually got the outer sleeve from that long ago. Which is and... Amazing. Here is what it's a disc like. Well, the I and the 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 I and the second N are actually indented. Yeah, there's an indentation in there, and that's a so that you, you were supposed to have used official Famicom discs, but people found ways around it. But that is what a Famicom disc looks like. That's really good, isn't it? Um, right. Unfortunately, the belt don't work, so um, yes, that's one for you to do in a week or so. I love the Nintendo, you know, how it's just like there. Yeah. So what it's in here the, is in the in eye and in the end, you, it's supposed to actually fix it. There's like a little bit inside that actually goes into those to make so it knows it's official uh, Famicom discs. That is quite... But people insane. got around that in Japan. Oh, right. Because once they figured it out, yeah, they just made it onto discs that didn't even have Nintendo. Just figured just out blue where the discs. holes were. Yeah, exactly. Oh god. So we're going to go on to probably my favourite console of all time now is the Super Famicom or the Super Nintendo. So we got a great game here. This is Darius Twin. Darius Twin this time. Now I don't. Even, I, I can't remember if this was released here or not. But if it if it was, it would be mega money. I, I picked it up from a seller in Japan when it was like about seven pound posted. That's pretty good for that. Seven pounds something. It's like seven fifty, I think maybe. Look at the artwork on that. Bit dirty, bit yellowed, but what can you do for that? Okay, what have we got next? The next one is a game called Cho Maki Makamura. Uh, you all probably you all know it better. As Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yes, yeah, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Now I had this back in the day on the Super Nintendo. Like anything, it, it went missing over the years, so I'm not paying the price of it. I mean, I have got it on the Super Nintendo Mini. Yeah. But I always would rather have a physical cartridge. Yeah, it's a bit yellowed on the back. It's still a bit yellowed, yeah. But again, it's only about £7 something postage, which was pounds. cheaper than I found it for in Japan. Why do we keep going to this back to this game? It's we just like... Game. It's, it's one of those games which you keep going back to if you own it and like it. Uh -huh. And what we the got next? next one... This is Yoshi's Story, I think it was called here. Yoshi's Story. On the Nintendo 64. Oh, look now, at little Yoshi's. Well, one thing, for the most part, the Nintendo 64 is pretty worthless in Japan. Yeah. It's not deemed collectible even now, so a lot of great games, like um, like Mario Party 3 here, yeah. is really expensive. But I found a loose copy in Japan in a book-off in... I think it was Ikebukuru, it's about 500 yen, which is rough, was was at that time roughly 350, give or take. £3.50 for Yoshi's story. Or that was, Yoshi's... yeah, that was about 350 as yeah. well. So now we're going to move on to the modern stuff. So we've got some PlayStation 3 here, and they're all PlayStation Japanese 3. It's imports. not that modern, but, oh, look at this. This is Ryu Ga 
Gotoku Kenzen, also better known to people as Yakuza Kenzen. This has never been released outside of Japan. It's the only way you can play this game. From Sega? It's from Sega. It's all done by the Yakuza studio. Um, it's, from what I gather, it's modern. It was the Yakuza characters put yep. into Feudal Japan. So it, was, it was the first one from Feudal Japan. There is a second one called Ryu Gagotoku Ishin. Which oh. is available on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, so I haven't got that yet. Japan, but it actually only. comes with a manual. Oh, well. That's a... And it actually came. So, you can open it up, have a look at the manual. Let's have a look at the manual. But, it also came... While you're looking through it, it also came with that little... I think that's more like a warranty card. Yeah, right. Or something along those lines. And I would like to... That runs you through the talk scene, the cutscenes and whatnot. So, I'm hoping that between the guide, I'll actually be able to get through the game, or at least attempt to get through the game. It's in really nice condition. Yeah. I look at the characters there. Yeah, so you've got, like, some of the characters, like, you can tell that's supposed to be Kiryu, Kazuma, and whatnot. Yeah. There'll obviously be a lot of new characters in there. That's good. But I wanted this to actually try it, because this is never going to come to the West. No. Nice. This is the only way you can play it. That's it, isn't it? That's so I thought right. I'd grab it while it was still fairly cheap. Yeah, because you're a Yakuza fan, so you've uh, got I'm, the others. So. I'm not just a Yakuza fan, I'm a Sega fanboy. So we'll move on to Let's the next on. one, which runs... Go. We're going to run on to the next one, which runs in a similar vein. Right. Except this was released in the West. And this is called Ryo Gotoku of the End. It was oh. released in Europe and America, and it was actually known as Yakuza Dead Souls. Dead Souls, uh. Now, I have Dead Souls, and I've beaten Dead Souls, sort of. I've seen the story. I, I didn't do all like, the submissions and stuff. I just raced through the game. But what I've never seen is this, the outer box. Yeah, the outer box has got the sleeve on it. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's I've no, I, Even in Japan, I never saw this. No. So it's a bit battered, but, you know, it's an old game, so... What it actually comes with... It's pretty good compared to itself. Now, I have got no idea what that says, apart from it saying something like... Yakuza Dead Souls, or Of The End, we know that. That's all I can tell you. Mm -hmm. It came with these stickers. Still got the stickers, excellent. And obviously, not only the game itself... But it came with the manual. Excellent. And the warranty cards and the registration cards and whatnot. Oh, that's good. So, so it, it came with all of that as well. Brilliant. But, yeah, I'm never going to play this. But the reason I got this was I actually bid on it on eBay. Mm -hmm. And I think posted, it came to the... Oh, I have, I have... there's more stuff in here which we didn't even know about. Oh, this is the actual warranty card. And yeah. Oh, wow. I, I, I haven't looked through the menu. Fire for something else. That's still the end of. I don't know. But that's just pretty awesome. <laughs> There's one of my favourite characters. Poor Goro. Majima Goro. Majima, yeah. I like him. He's hilarious. Yeah. Akiyama. And obviously you've got Kiryu Kazuma himself. And, um, oh, Jesus, her name eludes me at the second in time. Right. Cool. The adopted, the one that was adopted by, um, oh, someone's going to say, yeah, that's who it is. And I'll be like, yes, that's what it is. So that, to have all that in it as well, for £5.50 posted, I was just like, you know what? And we're back oh, here again. Oh, well, now we're yeah. down. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't do it mm -hmm. like that. Don't try mm -hmm. and cheat here. So we, the last three are actually imports. Now I'm going to start off with this one here. This ah. is a game called Caladrius Blaze. This was realistically probably the final, the penultimate shooter I'm looking for. I'm still debating on one. Now just come through the post today, actually. Yeah. That one was from Play Asia. Still sealed, as you can see. Still sealed. It's literally come through the post today. Play Asia, good place, but you can get caught on customs there, can't you? No, no, no. Play Asia are very good now. If you, I chose the cheap postage. But oh. you've got the option of paying customs. 
which at that point works out a lot cheaper. All right. Now, I think this is the Chinese version or the Korean version. I'm not sure which one it is. It doesn't say on the front. The spine leads me to believe it's the Korean version because it's in English, but I have a Chinese game coming up soon. All right. Isn't this like the Hollow Song of Birds and series and stuff, is it? I don't I'm know. not sure. I just noticed Shooter and I was like, ooh, I like Shooters. It looks like it. It's Even supposed said, to have quite a story to it as Sad well. Sad Song of the Divine Bird. So I think it might be. It might be that one then. What I realised on this was... If it's, it's... I think this might have come out on the PS3 in Japan. I'm not sure. But I know there was a Caladrius on the PS3. But I'm almost done with my shooters now. I think that will either be the last one or there is one more I'm debating on getting. Oh, awesome. Yeah. The other one's again called, I think it's called Dimension Drive. I want to say Dimension Jump, but I think that's Red Dwarf. It's a mm -hmm. Dimension Drive or Dimension... It's a shooter where you can jump from one end of the screen to the other. It is exclusive to Play Asia. Um, I'm humming and hollering over that. Ooh. But this was on offer. This is usually retails at 35, and I got it for 20 plus postage, which worked out to about 32, 33. Right. And customs as well. Right, so we'll crack on with the next one, which is another import, but this time from Brazil. Oh, from Brazil. And it's a physical version, eh? It's a physical version again, is Horizon Chase Turbo. Yeah. Now, for a lot of people who don't know Brazil, is a very big Sega country. They still get Master System games over there. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> they're not official. They're made, but they're made in Brazil. But a company over there called Tech Toy has the license to make Master Systems over there, oh, and right. they still sell Master Systems over there. That's mad, isn't it? It's crazy. So, well done, Brazil, for keeping the Master System alive, which was my, not the family's, but that was my first console, the Master System. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a racing game, but it kind of has an outrun feel to it. It yeah. doesn't play like outrun. Uh, I'll open it up for you. The disc is inside it. In fact, it plays quite well. I've had a go on it. And, and yeah, so all you, all you get was was this, and obviously it's all in Portuguese. Yeah. But the rumor is now this might actually get a physical release in America. Hmm. But it is a rumour. It hasn't been confirmed yet. So at the minute, the only place you can get this from physically is Brazil. Otherwise it's download only. And it took about seven weeks to come through the post, but it did turn up. Yeah. And we'll go to the last one, which did give me for customs. I have to go pick up today. Oh, man. And it's <laughs> SNK Heroines. This is from PlayAsia as well, isn't no, it? No, no, no. This no? wasn't from PlayAsia. This, I, I missed it on PlayAsia. Um, ah, yeah. The first thing people are saying is, why did you import this? This is a Chinese copy. Everywhere in the world, this was published by SNK. However, if you scroll down with me, in Asia, Sega published it. Sega published. Now, I, see. I don't know why, but it's not the first time. I think you'll find King of Fighters 14 may have also been published by Atlas in Europe and America and possibly Asia as well with SNK only doing it in Japan. But for some reason, I think Sega must have some way of distributing it over in China and Hong Kong. So officially, it's a Sega published game for the PlayStation 4. Yeah. And for that reason alone, I had to get it. I've only gone and picked it up this morning from the local um, post office place which deals with bloody import charges. So I've got to give £12 on import charges on that. But there again, you can play, um, what's his name? Terry and Andy Bogard as girls and quite a few of the others as girls. Now, the thing which is, is weird. I, I believe like the version we got of I him. plays in English, doesn't it? Yeah. That, I think the voices are in Japanese, but it has English subtitles to it. All right. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I saw this on the Switch. Well, I played it on the Switch, and it's actually quite good. Although a little bit too easy, I thought. Maybe well, that's to up it, the difficulties. If you can beat it, we know how good your skills are. Yeah, it's not going to be a hard game. 
Ah, horrible. All right, so I hope you enjoyed a quick look at the the games over in my new dig. Yeah. And these are obviously the games in the old digs. Let's be up about twenty five minute video, so it's not too bad. This is out of the case. Oh, what? It wasn't out of the case earlier. It's out of the case. All right, so should we do an opening then? Should we see what's actually inside it? I have if, only picked it if up. If you move it, you can hear it grunk. I did, and I, I heard it slightly move, but it didn't feel like it was loose. Oh, no. I've opened it already, but... You can see, PlayStation seal so low on these. Good PlayStation seal, not even. You can see, you get the, the Chinese logo and it, SNK and Sega. Well, this one should have kept sealed, but you want to play it, so. I'm going to play it, so yeah. And was it loose or was it just rattling in the spindle? It's just, there you go, it just wasn't pushed down. Oh, that's rattling. Oh, you get something with it. Hey. All in chi Chinese. Looks like Mandarin. I could be wrong. Might be Cantonese. I don't know. It's like a warranty card, I suppose, or an instruction. Or you get some English shit. Yeah, a bit of artwork. And the controllers, which doesn't That's help fine. me. It's just a beam up game. Oh, and you've got some artwork inside the case. Yeah. Should we try and get it out? Oh, it's black and white. Oh, yeah. That's so, good. if you're looking like me for a full published... There's for girls, or the guys, and there's for bad guy. <laughs> if you're looking for a fully published Sega set, I'm not talking Atlas, I'm just talking Sega, this one will probably be the trickier one to find because PlayAsia is now out of stock of it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I missed it from PlayAsia, so it took me a little while to track down, but I got it in the end. Good, um, so one for the Sega collection as well. Exactly, that was the main reason I got this version. I said to you a little while ago, I was going to... Probably get it, because I fancied an SNK fighter. But when I saw that, I was like, no, must buy, must buy, must have, I want. I want, get it. Me, me, me. Okay, then. That, so we've got obviously quite a few imports. Hope you enjoyed the ones from here and the the ones we did over in my new digs. Yeah, that's good. I see the new setup as well. This is the old setup. and This is the old setup. That's, right. and that's it for a, um, another one, I suppose. Oh, well, thank you for having me on again. I mean, I know it's been a while since we've done these, but I know. Um, as you can see now, it's a, I think it's as exciting as possible. <laughs> it's like, yes. we, we try and wait. Till we've got enough stuff to make it worthwhile. I don't want to just. We don't want to just do it if we've got. Oh, we've got this one game, so we waited till we yeah. had a few imports. A few, I, I like trying to get different games, okay. not just the normal ones, but. Um, I love playing them as well, although I'm so backlogged, I'm a bit behind. But that is all we have for today, guys. And that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. As always, we put it back on to the Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Play it. So let's I, have a quick look at this. Let's yeah. have a look, quick look now, just to show you. This is. I want to try and find something with some text in it, so we can like read a script manual or something. So, so what does that actually say? Hmm. Oh. Oh, here we go. Just a bit of action to the end of the video. No. No. Oi! I said get down. Is he dead? Oh, well. it was a fire. He's on fire. Yeah, I'm on caution. I don't care. I haven't saved it. I, I, with this now, because I've beaten it so many times. Is he dead? Yeah, see, right coming up to him. Because I've played it so many times, I know this game pretty well. Yeah. Um. So I now play it without saving. So if I die, that's it. I'm dead. I won't restart it. Well, we better end it there anyway, because it's getting long. Oh, we're going to go see some zombies. Oh, God. Crows. Hang on. He's been pecked to death by crows. Oh, wait. Get off me. See, so this is the Japanese version, as you can see. 
Do we want ammo? Yes, we do. We may. Oh, <laughs> the crows are attacking you. Crows, crows. Do not feed the birds. <laughs> Oi. Oi. No. Get lost. Now we're just oh. gonna run past these uh, these um, birds. Oh shit! Wow, there's quite a few birds. Now, something I've, I'm thinking of doing. I know we're about to cut this off. Um, we need to get a um, proper capture card because I would like to actually film film this and we could upload it onto the channel. What do you reckon? Yeah, we could do. Yeah. So capture card, and I would probably either try and do, I would probably, oi. Go away. I don't want to kiss you. You're diseased. I can't remember if there's something down here or not. I don't know, it's just like a space to run into. I keep going back out, don't I? What I like about the Dreamcast version is you can actually look at the VMU pad mm. and it will tell you how many bullets you've actually got. Go away. And just a little Easter egg for you guys mm -hmm. before we go. It's quite funny. I in a door. <laughs> I actually prefer the Dreamcast version over the PlayStation version. It just sounds a little bit better. Mm. Ooh, hello, ammo. That's why I don't understand people who struggle with ammo on this game, because I'm forever, I get to a point where I'm like, um, I don't actually, yeah, I need that. I, right, right, so, just here, what happens when you open this door? Oh! Um, so what do we do at this point? We go... There's nothing else in here. Bye! Run away! Run away! <laughs> they should have left that in for the remake. <laughs> the remake's really good, but I think I'm... I'm still quite nostalgic for this one. Yeah, I've been messing around with this for a little bit now, so... I oh, will leave it there then, I suppose. We'll leave it with some stairs. Right, see you all next time. Bye-bye.